This group of high school students is meeting up to plan their next move. 17-year-old Vincent Rau and his friends in Cottbus are trying to prevent three Afghan classmates from getting deported. There's still a war going on in Afghanistan. The German military is there, preventing or trying to prevent terrorism. There's terrorism, attacks and kidnappings there every day. The country simply isn't safe. You can't deport people there. Wali Yusufzai is one of the students who is scheduled for deportation. In 2015, he fled Kunduz in northern Afghanistan. He's been attending school in Cottbus for a year. My heart swells when I see how my classmates are helping my friends and me. They stand by me and are doing all they can. They love us and we love them. Wali doesn't understand everything his German classmates are saying. In Kunduz, he never went to a proper school. Now he spends four hours a day learning German. When he tells his own story, he prefers to do it in his native language. The Taliban abused and threatened him, he said, and he fled via the Balkans. He says he was shocked when his asylum application was rejected. If you've never experienced it, you don't know how awful it is. I couldn't sleep for two nights after the rejection letter came. I kept thinking about my hearing and what I'd done wrong. I had no money for an attorney. I was at my wit's end. I burst into tears in front of the entire class. I couldn't speak because I was so upset. Two hours later, our entire class got together. It was hard for everyone when they learned our classmates would have to go. So the students decided to do something. They made posters, organized concerts and collected donations. They've collected around 2,000 euros to pay for a lawyer to represent Wally. The students also drafted an online petition they hope will force the local state parliament to take up the case again. It's already received more than 70,000 signatures, as well as the odd piece of hate mail. Someone wrote on Facebook that he hoped we drowned in the wave of refugees. People called us rich hippies. We were just lumped together in one group. People didn't listen. That hurts. The city of Cottbus has been of no help. A spokesman said that if an asylum request has been refused, local authorities have no choice but to carry out a deportation. In individual cases, it can be regrettable, but we need a legal basis for everything we do. Sometimes it may seem a bit heartless, but that's the way it is. We have to stay within the framework we're given and treat everyone the same. Vincent and his classmates aren't giving up. They're collecting signatures on the streets. But it isn't easy to get locals to take an interest in three young Afghan refugees. Racially motivated crimes have been on the rise in Cottbus since 2015. The classmates always go out to collect signatures in groups, often without success. Ask someone else. The least of it is when they take away our flyers. We've gotten into fights, which really isn't necessary and is dangerous. All that needs to happen is for someone to have some pepper spray in his pocket. If you get that in your eyes, you have to go to the hospital. In the evening, the students play football. It's a welcome chance for Wally to show what he can do. Wally dreams of finishing school in Germany and training as a mechanic. His lawyer has appealed his rejected asylum application. So for the time being, he can stay. Still, Wally doesn't like being home alone. He's afraid the police will come get him. I can't go back to Kunduz or Kabul. There are so many spies that would betray me to the Taliban for money. And they do me harm. The students have set up a telephone chain. If the police do show up, Vincent and his friends will gather at Wally's apartment. That would at least be a show of solidarity.
even though they know they couldn't prevent Wally from being deported.